As you may already know, in addition to being a powerhouse digital audio environment, Mixcraft also lets you create and edit videos. In this video, I'll show the basics of adding video footage and still images to your projects. First, it's important that video and still images are in the proper format. Mixcraft currently supports AVI and WMV video formats, as well as JPEG, BMP, PNG, and GIF still image files. Video can be in standard definition or high def 720p or 1080i formats. The most important thing is that the video footage is in AVI or WMV format. If you've shot footage using a phone or a camera, you may need to convert it first. Google Video Conversion Apps online if you need to convert the video files. Images and videos in a Mixcraft project have their own special kind of track called the Video Track. And we can open one by pressing the plus track button up here and inserting a video track. Keep in mind that Mixcraft can only have one video track open at any given time. So in turn, Mixcraft can only be displaying one still image or video at any given time. Let's start by importing a still image. I'm going to go to Video over here, and I'm going to select Add Still Images, and then I'm going to navigate to where the picture I want is, and I can double click this, and it lands on the video track at the current carrot location. You can also just drag and drop straight from Windows Explorer. You can just grab the file and drag and drop it in. To see what it's going to look like in the actual video, I'm going to click Show Video Window right here. And this acts as a monitor for whatever the current carrot position is in the video. And you can resize this window however you like by moving the corner down here. And Mixcraft will dynamically resize the image inside of it. And you can also move this anywhere you want on your screen. So if you have two displays, for example, you can move it over to the other display and blow it up really big. And you can always hide this window by clicking right there. Or get it back by clicking on it again. We can change how long the still image is displayed during playback by moving the edges just like any other clip in Mixcraft. One important thing I want to talk about is video and image size. Earlier we talked about how Mixcraft supports standard and high def resolutions, and this refers to the physical size of the video as well as how many lines of resolution will be in it, but it's very important to decide when you begin working on a project what that resolution is going to be. So for example, if you're in standard definition, you'll be at 640 by 480 or 720 by 480 if you're going to play it on a TV set. And if you're working in 720p, your size should be 1280 by 720. And if you're working in 1080, it should be 1920 by 1080. Now we'll add some video. You can add a video by clicking on the video menu over here and selecting add a video file. Now we can navigate to the video we want to add and double click it. And it's added to our project. You can also add video by simply dragging and dropping a file from Windows Explorer. If I press the play button, we can hear the audio. And if I click the show video window button, we can see the video playing. It's important to understand how linking works with video clips. If you look right here at the clips, you can see where it says linked on the video and audio portions of the clip. And this means that if I grab it and move it around, the two of them stay locked together. And this is really important so that the timing of the video and audio doesn't drift. You can still individually adjust the in and out points by moving the edges, but they still stay locked together. If you'd like to unlink the clips, you can click right here where this little X and these two little circles are, and you can see it pops up and says unlink clip, and watch the little X's, they disappear. And actually that entire icon disappears, so if you decide that you want to link them back up again, highlight both the clips that you want to link together, so you can see the white outline there when I click on it, and I'm going to hold down the shift key. And I'm going to click this one too. So now they both have white outlines. And then I'm going to go to the Edit menu, select Link, and Link Selected Clips. And as you can see, there's an alternate way to unlink clips in there, but it's faster to just click the little icon up here. Here's a useful tip for using audio with video. If you're creating a music video like the one in this example, you'll usually have lo-fi reference audio picked up by the camera that you'll want to replace with a high-quality version. You can import a higher-quality version of the track, and use the camera audio as a timing reference to visually match up the waveforms. You'll probably want to zoom in really close and turn Snap to Grid off. Once you've got the hi-fi version of the audio synced, you can then mute the video audio without affecting the video playback, or you can delete the audio file from the video altogether. But make sure that the video and audio files are unlinked before you do this. Finally, you can now link the new hi-fi version of the audio to the video footage to maintain proper sync.